What's up guys, we're back with another video of British Guy Reacts. Today we're going to be comparing baseball to cricket. So I've done a couple of reactions to baseball videos already and I've asked a couple of questions about the differences between cricket and baseball in the comments and some of you guys have answered me and educated me. Today we're going to watch a YouTube video about it and see how they compare, which is harder, which is better. Let's see, okay. If you do like the video, subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of sports reactions coming, music reactions, reactions about the USA. But for right now, let's get straight into this baseball versus cricket video. Explains baseball versus cricket. For some reason, I get a lot of people making adverse comments on my videos on baseball and cricket. Most of them are just trolling, which is pretty sad. But quite a lot of them seem to be misinformed. And I'm here to put that to bed once and for all. This video will destroy the myths that each set of fans has in regards to the other sport and show you why it's a largely pointless argument to compare the two. Okay. Before I get started, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell. Yeah, go check out this guy's videos as well. He has quite a lot of like comparison videos, stuff about baseball, cricket. Go and check him out. And let's start by destroying myths held by cricket fans about baseball. Okay. Cricket fans will always argue that it's harder to hit a cricket ball. But this is not... Okay, let's try and guess why these are true and not true. It's harder to hit a cricket ball. I don't know. I'm not sure what speed they both bowl at, but a cricket ball bounces, which must take a bit of speed off. And I feel like a cricket bat's easier to use than a baseball bat because it's like rectangle. It's got a thick, larger surface area. I'm more of a cricket fan, by the way. I don't really like cricket. I like the 2020, the shorter games. Yeah. Not true. A show by ESPN Sports Science completely disproved this myth. The contact surface area of a baseball bat is significantly smaller than a cricket bat. I don't think anyone's putting the would ball say in play requires more accuracy with a baseball bat. A cricket this was demonstrated where a pro cricketer tried to hit with a baseball bat with relatively poor results, and a pro baseball player tries to hit with a cricket bat with significantly better results. Oh, 40 for 20, good. The reaction time has to be quicker in baseball too. Yeah, because the ball doesn't bounce. The distance between the wickets and cricket is roughly 20 meters. The distance between the pitching rubber and home plate, 18 meters. Therefore, you have less time to think and react in baseball. This is not a myth. This is a scientifically proven fact. Okay, so it baseball's is harder so far. Harder to hit a baseball with a baseball bat. Cricket fans will argue that cricket bowlers launch the ball faster Okay, what do you think? Cricket bowlers bowl faster than baseball pitchers. I'm going to say no, just because of the action. I feel like a baseball pitch would be easier to throw faster. Yeah, because I don't mean there's less technique, but I feel like the technique to get power on is going to be easier. Than baseball pitchers. Again, this is not true. For two for two, guys. The average speed of a cricket ball at the top level is 88 Still very hour. quick. The average What's speed about of a baseball 95. pitch, 92 miles 92. an hour. The fastest ever cricket ball, Shoei Bakhtar, 100.2 miles an hour. The fastest ever baseball pitch, our oldest Chapman, 105.1 miles an hour. Baseball wins. Cricket fans argue that cricket is played by more people worldwide. Ah, oh, I saw a not true coming up. I would have agreed with this though. I would have thought cricket, you've got like... A lot of the Asian countries play cricket, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, West Indies, and then you have England, Australia, New Zealand, played quite a lot. I guess baseball's big in Japan, isn't it? And America, Mexico. This is an annoying statistic, as cricket is played by fewer countries, where the populations are massive, and cricket fans use this to over-exaggerate popularity, and therefore superiority. Baseball is played in more countries where the populations are significantly less. Baseball fans use this statistic to over exaggerate popularity I would have got this one wrong. and therefore superiority. And even then, using populations or number of countries is not an accurate measure of how many people actually play the sport in these countries. To me, this does not dictate how popular a sport actually is. If you have enjoyed today's video, please think about subscribing to the channel. I'm a new YouTuber, I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, and at the moment, 86% of people watching this video aren't subscribed. It only takes one second, go and do it now. Nice one, peace. Cricket fans deem baseball in- but Baseball players are useless because they need a glove to catch the ball. 
I asked a question about this in one of my previous videos, and apparently it's you have one. You wear one glove, so you've got the one hand to catch, the one to throw. I made the argument that surely it hurts your hand catching a cricket ball with no gloves. I wouldn't say baseball players are useless, because I think the glove's still quite hard to catch with, right? Period, because baseball players use a glove to catch the so ball. So I'm going to say not true, right? Ball. Making fun of a sport because they use equipment for safety reasons is incredibly shallow. Baseball players use gloves as a safety measure. And someone mentioned they play a lot of games. Not capable of catching a ball without a glove. And any cricket fans who disagree with that, what's this then? What's that? What's that thing that the wicketkeeper has on his hands? Oh yeah, it's gloves. <laughs> this argument is largely hypocritical. I'm all for player safety, and I condemn those who make fun of things that make a sport safe to play, especially. This guy's not happy with kids. you, with you cricket fans. You, you know, he's not happy are with you. A disgusting scumbag. If you make Good. fun of safety measures, disgusting scumbag. On the other side of the coin, <laughs> baseball fans will argue that the cricket ball is easier to hit, and therefore it's easier to score. Easier to hit. Yeah, he's already said it's easier to hit. Easier to score runs though. Maybe not. <clears throat> runs. But that's not necessarily true. Yes, we've scientifically proven that it is harder to physically hit a baseball, but it's certainly not easier to score runs because of it. In baseball, generally there's three ways that you can be out. Struck out, caught out, or run out. In cricket, there's ten. And not only do you have to defend oh, yourself, yeah, you, like you also have to defend yourself. Because in baseball, ten. if you're hit by a pitch, you get to cry about it a little, and then you get a free pass to first base. Really? In cricket, if you're hit by yeah. a ball and subsequently really hurt from it, you got to go again. It's perfectly legal, and if it strikes your leg in front of the wicket, you're well, out. Uh... Throwing at the batsman is not only perfectly fine, but <sighs> encouraged. A bowler could bounce the ball at your head with every ball, oh. and it'd be perfectly acceptable. Can you score runs efficiently if they're gunning for your face? Hmm, debatable. Baseball fans will argue that it's easier to put the ball in play. It's easier to put the ball in play in cricket. What does put it in play mean? Like, hit it out of the stadium? In cricket. But that's not true either. It's not enough to just make contact with the ball. It's putting the ball in play without being out. In baseball, you hit the ball between the foul lines, which forms this 90 degree area. You hit oh yeah, the ball cricket's like 360, isn't You're it? not out unless you're caught in foul territory. But a cricket batsman has to be able to hit 360 degrees around. Yes, they have to be adept at hitting the ball behind them as well as in front and at their sides. And even then, they could still be caught or run out, as opposed to being- I disagree with this one a bit though, because not all cricket players hit the ball behind them, not on purpose. Like, some of them have that skill, but I don't feel like every batsman is renowned for being able to hit in every part of the pitch. Off with just a foul ball in baseball. I could be wrong. Yes, though. there are bigger gaps in the field because the fielding team has to cover more ground, but there's a lot more to think about than just hitting a ball with all your might. In cricket, you have to be more selective with what you hit, because once you're out, you don't get another chance to bat. You are done. Oh, if you get out in baseball, you go again. And, and it's like three outs in an innings, isn't it? I assumed if a batsman was out, he, he was out for the innings. I'm learning a lot here. Yeah. The thing with cricket, though, as well, I, I'd say it's a bit easier as a batter because you get into a rhythm. You're facing one ball after another, after another, after another. Those first 10 balls, you can just defend. You can just get used to the bowlers, used to the field, calm down a little. In baseball, it's like you get, you step up three times, right? Three strikes. And then you might not bat again for, I don't know, 10, 20, I don't know how long, 20 minutes, I'd guess, maybe longer. Baseball fans will argue that cricket bowlers have no skills. This is false. Whatsoever. Cricket bowling is hard. But it could be argued that they have to have more. In baseball, a pitcher stands in one place, throws the ball in the air directly to a batter. If you've never tried to bowl a cricket ball, place. try it. It's tough. But a bowler in cricket can deliver the ball anywhere along the crease. I could bat, but I couldn't bowl. Wicket. They can throw the ball on the full, like in baseball where it doesn't hit the ground, or they can bounce the ball from the floor. They can fast bowl it, spin it, hook it, roll it, either at the wicket, at the gaps around the wicket, or at the player themselves. 
Wasp, we've proven that they don't throw as fast, they use infinitely more tricks to try and get the batsman out. This, unlike what the myth suggests, requires skill. Baseball fans will argue that cricket is long and boring. Agreed. Some of the cricket is long and boring. Like, five days for a game is too long, man. But they do some shorter formats now, which are interesting. Where you, it's like a hundred bowls each and stuff. Not exactly covering themselves with glory on this one. But the reason baseball fans say this is because of test matches. Due to yeah. their formats, they can take anywhere up to five days to play. Whilst that's down to the very nature of the sport and its rules, the same cannot be said about the newer format, T20. Yeah, T20 where some of the is games great. are shorter than Major League Baseball games. It all depends on which format you're watching. And as for the boring part, that's a subjective opinion rather than an objective fact. In short, whilst I've categorically destroyed the myths surrounding each sport, this video has largely been a waste of time. <laughs> because they're two different sports. Yeah, true. It's kind of like comparing an apple to a lemon. Lemon fanboys will argue that lemons are better because they're more yellow. And apple fanboys will argue that apples are better because they begin with the letter A. You could invent any metric to support or disprove any argument between these two. But it's not a fair comparison. Because, read my lips, they are two different sports. Oh, and contrary to both sets of fans saying things like cricket is an inferior copy of baseball or baseball is an American... What's older? I guess cricket's got to be an older sport, right? ...derivative of cricket, neither one of those is true. Because they always were and always have been two completely separate sports. They were invented around about the same time oh, with no go. common heritage or overlap other than the fact that both sports originated in England. Baseball's from England? Not nobody plays baseball oh someone told me about this in the comments actually it comes from rounders right we play rounders where you just have this small bat and use one hand to swing it's like a it's you play it as a as a young kid but it's mainly like a women's sport as you get older men don't really have rounders teams no sport that is objectively better as the objectives are completely Ooh. different for each one Yes, both sports are played with a bat and a ball, but that's where the similarities end. The real question is, which sport do you prefer? That is up to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure yeah, to Yeah, that's like. up to you guys, so you let me know in the comments which one do you prefer. Baseball versus cricket. I've never watched a baseball game, so it's hard for me to vote. I hate the long cricket games, but playing cricket is really fun just hard to organize a game because you need a lot of people um and the short versions are good so but you let me know your opinion if you did like today's video leave the comment down below what's better baseball or cricket give the video a like and please subscribe to the channel that's it for now take it easy peace